Yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit, we thought we should, about this thing called the Faculty for Homeless and Inclusion Health. Um, we mentioned it yesterday. Um, we launched the faculty in 2011. It was one of Aidan's ideas that we needed to bring people together and create some kind of structure which we could give a name and put, put over this activity. And calling it a faculty gives it some kind of credentials and people think that we're serious and that we know what we're talking about. And that's you. Um, so we've, we've done that. Pathway as a charity has always hosted the faculty, actually funds it and has paid for it. And some of you eagle-eyed people may have noticed that this year we don't have the logo of the Lankelly Chase Foundation on our platform. They funded three years of development for the faculty, but that came to an end, comes to an end this month. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about a plan we have to try and finance this activity because this stuff doesn't happen for nothing, I'm afraid, um, like all things in life. So um, a little bit about the faculty. This is where we've got to. When we started, we started with a meeting at University College Hospital. Nigel got his address book out. We invited about 50 people turned up, and we said that was the first meeting of the faculty. Since then, as you can see, we've grown and grown. So there are now on a mailing list, and kind of how many people in the room are conscious that they are on the Faculty for Inclusion Inclusion Health's mailing list? Pretty good. Um, if you didn't put your hand up, it's quite easy. You just go to the website. I'll put it up at the end and you can sign up. But so there are now 1,500 people plus on the website. Um, as the slide says, these are the, the groups that colleagues are interested in health and healthcare for. Are, are these groups, vulnerable migrants, homeless people, people involved in sex working, and the gypsy and traveler community. Um, members. Again, one of our early insights was that to make progress in this world, multidisciplinary working is crucial. We have to have everybody's insights and every perspective helps. So there is everybody in the faculty, um, all sorts of people, and anyone who's interested in the issues we've been talking about today is welcome to join. Um, so what does the faculty do? At the moment, what we do where well, we run this, we run this conference, we host this conference, we do regular email newsletters. Nigel's the editor, and you'll get useful updates from him periodically about research, about data, about studies, opportunities, jobs, that kind of stuff. We also sometimes ask people for help if we're being asked, for example, to respond to a Home Office consultation on illegal substances. Then we'll email out and say, what does anybody think? So it begins to become a conduit for you to help us project things, for example, to Steve Powers this morning about what we might want the health service to do. Um, we're beginning to develop CPD. The CPD day in Brighton will run again in the autumn. We're thinking of doing more, and we're beginning to be asked to, be, we're being asked to put the faculty logo on things to credential them. The relationships we've created with the Royal Colleges have really helped with that. Regional meetings take place. Some colleagues in, in the room chair them. We've, we've been able to fund a bit of that with some of the money I mentioned earlier. And as a faculty member, you get a discounted ticket to this conference, and we'll be thinking of doing more. Um, so we have some plans as to what else we could do. This time last year, we surveyed quite a lot of people at the conference about what else people in the faculty would like it to do. Um, and here's a list of ideas which come from that. We're not promising any or all of these particularly, but I'm really, really interested in all the modern ways you can to feed back to us, for you to tell us what kind of priorities, what kind of areas you think we should focus on. One of the things I realised not on this list is just the word research kept coming up. People are really interested in research, either finding out what's being done or finding a partner for a project. And that's, that happens in these meetings very much, but we think there's much more we could do there. Um, so that's the plans. Um, why is it important? I hope you've had a good enough time here to realise that this, we're on to something here. Um, Together, we are quite powerful, we think. And what we need to do is to keep building that. So, as Nigel said last night, when we started, we, we had this simple insight that many services working with homeless people, many services working with other excluded groups themselves were very, very excluded from the NHS and from the formal structures of power. When we started, I think there was no chance of someone like the NHS England medical director, whatever we thought from this morning, actually coming and being on a platform. So we're now beginning to get people talking to us at that level. But we need to keep building that. Um, and the way to do that is to capitalise on all of your knowledge, all of your insights, all of your power, and all of your experience. So 
as I said, we can't do this for nothing. So what we are proposing from today, and this has just gone live on our website, is I'm afraid to start asking people for money. So we're going to say that you can, and this is, uh, some of you will may, uh, how many Guardian readers in the room? That would be another show of hands. <laughs> How many Guardian readers who subscribe to the Guardian? You don't have to say, but... Um, so this is the same idea, actually. We're, we're really saying this remains free. The whole point of this is that everybody should have access, and we want to include everybody can join the faculty. That's the purpose. But actually, we also need money. And if you can, we're offering three levels here. Please think about it. And the routine, if you're a new member and you go to our website to sign up now, it will prompt you and ask you for a donation and gift aid it. So we are a charity, and we'll be taking it as charitable donations, but you're helping to build this cause. So that's the offer. We leave it to you to judge what level salary. We're thinking kind of pay what you can, pay as you go. It's your, you know how much you get paid, how much you think you would like to afford. We, off, we make some suggestions here. You can, of course, donate far more if you want. But, but in future, when people sign up to the faculty, we'll, they will be prompted and asked for a donation. <coughs> You can proceed and join without making a donation too. That's absolutely fine. There's no, no question about being a full participant, even if you don't want to pay anything. So that's all I wanted to say. The website, the sign up is on the Pathway website. There's a page. It looks like this. If you scroll down, it offers, we ask for some detail about you, your professional background, the region. The, as I said, the regional meetings, colleagues locally run those mailing lists locally space for more people to set up networks in your local area if you want to do that. And there are also professional networks. So there's a lovely dentistry special interest group. There's an OT special interest group, a little bit dormant at the moment, and there's potential for others. So if there are sets of colleagues you've met in the room over the last couple of days who you'd like to keep in touch with, we can offer a platform for you to start communicating with each other through this means. So that's all I want to say. This is now live on our website. I should also point out that today we have my colleague Catherine at the back who has one of these very clever iZettel things which can take a contactless card payment from you. <laughs> Even if you don't get very close to her, she can take money off your card. <laughs> so, so Catherine's at the back there, which she'll be trying to wave her machine at you as you go out. Um, so that, that's all I want to say. Please do support the cause because, because I think it's very important and we can do so much more together. I'm going to hand back to Simon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that is £2.30 a week if you played the maximum, ladies and gentlemen, which is the kind of wine that you drink, that's half a glass. <laughs>